Swole Binja here. Today I am bringing you the PvE Solo Rapier Sustain build. And what this build is, is a highly tanky rapier build that will allow you to solo entire elite zones completely brain dead easy. You will never die. You will almost always be at full HP. You will deal tons and tons of damage. So let me talk about the items. This build is highly item dependent. I am actually on the public test room to show you this because I do not have the items on live. But let's go over what you will need, okay? So on your rapier, which I don't have correctly set up because I ran out of uh, item rolls uh, for item chests, but you want keen and you want life stealing on your weapon. At least those two with either dex or constitution, okay? For your armor pieces, you want to have heavy armor and what you want is to have refreshing on them if possible. It actually, it, it breaks the build if you don't have full refreshing, and I don't, and I'll show you in a sec why you need it. But you also need, uh, where is it? You need Keen Tondo, okay? That gives you crit chance when they're bleeding by Tondo Bleeds. You need Leeching Flurry, which will give you 25% life leech with Flurry. And it really helps to have... Uh, where is it? Um, Sundering Repost, it helps. It lets you deal more damage. You don't need this one. It's just nice to have. Uh, you also, for your ring, preferably you want Keen Awareness and Life Leech with Constitution or Dexterity. It's actually really, really hard to get a ring like this, and they're very expensive. You don't, you don't need Life Leech on your weapon and ring, but it absolutely helps, and it really makes the build Brain Dead Snooze Fest Easy Mode. Uh, Alright, uh, you also want preferably regenerating on earrings, and you also want health on your amulet. If you can get it, if not, you have to sacrifice some stats. Okay, so now let's talk about the stat allocation. Essentially, you want 250 decks and everything else in into constitution. You generally want to have over 10,000 HP for this. Uh, you can have lower HP if you're confident and, you know, really good at timing your reposts and depending on the content you want to farm. You could also do no constitution at all, but I don't recommend this because part of the build is just having high sustain, so you can just mash flurry over and over and over again. Now, here is the, the tree for the rapier. You want everything into tondo, everything into flurry, and everything into repost. You also want the passives that give you more damage and cooldown reduction, which is what I've chosen. Here's the passives I didn't choose. We don't need stamina on hit, and we don't need haste. This actually is broken until the patch hits. Uh, the patch might have already fixed this, depending on when you're viewing this. Uh, then you don't really need damage with your light attacks for this build, because you're going to be spamming Flurry instead. And you don't need to extend the Rapier Bleed, because Flurry will already do that for you. So here's the target dummy. Now, let me show you how this build is supposed to work. You hit the enemy with Tondo, alright? And then, that's going to give them one bleed. You see that little 69 popping up? 69, of course it's 69. You can continue to add of this so that there are more stacks, right? Now, the bleeds will continue to stay on the target. Also, it's very low cooldown. Uh, when you hit them with Flurry, if you have refreshing properly on your gear, you'll see my cooldowns. This would come off of cooldown immediately, and I could just hit my Flurry button over and over and over. Also, the bleeds are now stacking for 74. Because the target is bleeding, I have a I have a higher percent crit rate with Flurry. Also, Flurry, every single hit is restoring at least 25% HP, not counting any life leech I would have had from my weapon and from my ring, okay? Uh, also, uh, I would have more crit rate if I had Keen on my weapon, so the damage would actually be much, much higher. If the enemy boss or enemies you're fighting attack you, you repost, which will then give them a severe amount of armor reduction, which will allow you to deal even more damage to the target, all right? So basically, you initiate with, with Flurry, you repost any time they do an animation, so if you ever want to know how to fight a mob, there's two ways to repost them, and also it's the holiday event on the PTR, which I believe comes out uh, on the 16th, uh, if, if things are correct, if Amazon has promised what they said. If you ever want to repost a mob, there are two ways to time it almost perfectly every time. The first is, if an enemy is running at you, as soon as they get within melee distance, they will always attack you. And so let me let me show that off. I'm just going to attract this guy here. And I didn't mean to get the tentacle. So as soon as this little guy reaches me, he's going to immediately start swinging, right? So there's his swing, and I reposted it. Simple as. Now the other one is, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and block one of his attacks. Now, looking at his character model... 
as soon as he starts any kind of non-idle animation, you see how he's standing there, and he's kind of bobbing his shoulders, he's weaving his arms around, he did a little growl there. As soon as he does any animation, you just press your repost button, and that is how you repost every single mob in the game every single time. It works on all mobs, like here's this guy, so this is the aggro phase, he's going to do his attack, now he's doing another attack. He's going to have an idle phase where he just kind of stands there, as soon as he starts an animation, you just press your repost button. It's really, really simple, really, really easy. And then, you, like I said, you're just going to spam Flurry at the enemy and Tondo. So let me show you just how powerful this is in an elite zone. Also, real quick, before we get to the elite mob, let me just talk about offhand weapons. I prefer a musket because of its utility. However, if you want to really min-max fighting elites, there are a couple of options. One of them would be the Void Gauntlet. You just get Essence Rupture, and you apply that to the enemy, and that's going to give you 20% more um, life, life leech against the mob. Very simple, very good, but that requires weapon switching. This is supposed to be a face tank, brain dead, mash the button until the elite mob dies, and if they swing at you, you repost, simple as. You're going to be ta taking hits, taking damage, and you're going to just heal it all back immediately from Flurry. The other option is the life staff using aura protection and all of its pro proper passives to give you as much fortify for as long as possible with a heal over time for like 20 something seconds. That would be your second offhand choice. Other than that, you could do something like Sword and Shield, where when you do a Shield Rush, you can apply Weaken so that they hit you less hard for 10 whole seconds. Uh, but other than that, there's really no reason to just use offhands. Again, this is a build where you just spam one attack over and over. And if you have refreshing on your gear, which you should have, the Q ability, I'm sorry, the Flurry here will always come off cooldown and you can just spam it over and over and over into a mob's face and you'll be consistently healing and dealing tons of damage. Alright, here we are at Scorpius, which is a level 50 elite zone. Now, I tried Merc Guard off camera and on the PTR, they have way overscaled it. I don't know if this is something that the patch is going to have because as of filming this, the patch has not hit, but going to Merc Guard on the PTR, the, 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 the demon that guards the door hit me for 10,000 damage, and that's with full f reduction and all onyxes. And <laughs> let me tell you, that's not how that that's not how hard that mob hits in the actual game, okay? I don't know what's going on there, but they made him way, way too strong on this PTR. I hope that does not hit live. If it does, Merc Guard runs are going to be <laughs> impossible for small servers. But let's go here, we're at uh, Scorpius, and uh, let's start fighting. So normally these guys would give us some, some trouble, right? Especially the tentacle monster here. So we're just going to take it out first. And there we go, repost, stack the bleeds, and then let's start flurrying. Now you can see they actually, well, that did, that's a lot of damage. Uh, I think all elite zones are overtuned. This actually might not be possible. If this hits the live game, <laughs> look how much damage it does. What in the heck? <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah, this isn't working anymore. This used to work! That didn't even- <laughs> I gotta chug potions or I'm gonna die. And yes, maybe I should be dodging a little bit, huh? Okay, so that time we healed a little bit more, and since we're hitting two targets, we're actually getting our cooldowns back, making this actually, you know, spammable. Uh, this build, <laughs> you need refreshing, because if you can't spam your flurry, you can't restore all your HP. This guy just de-aggroed, what the heck? I was only on the ledge. Okay, he's supposed to attack after approaching me. Whatever, fine. So. <laughs> you have to have refreshing. You gotta have heavy. I'm just gonna let him hit me so I can restore some HP here. And, uh, yeah, you'll break their block too, by the way, if they're a shield mi minion. Alright, we got two guys on us. That's fine. I <laughs> he missed! I reposted and he didn't even hit me, so. Anyway. Look at our HP. Again, we're missing about 10% leech here. But it's still pretty darn good with 10% leech, and I'm in very low gear score. So if I had, you know, a higher gear score, you know, weapon, I would be healing for way more. But essentially, you just spam flurry and you will stay topped off. But these guys are hitting way, way harder than they normally do. I don't know if that's a PTR thing or if that's some change in the patch. I've looked at the patch notes, and it is not showing that they have, they're they buffing these zones. So I, I don't know what's going on, man. Like, this actually might not be soloable anymore uh, within a, a brain dead easy mode state, at least. You might have to actually try hard. Uh, so that's pretty much the video. Um, <laughs> it kind of sucks that I don't have refreshing on all my pieces so I can spam this out. 
And then I'm just going to dodge the explosion there. Anyway, guys. Uh, for those wondering, is this a high DPS build? Like, like if you want to be a glass cannon and use this, you know, instance of flurry to deal tons of damage, I'm going to tell you right now that just for pure glass cannon damage dealing, it is not. The actual way to deal more damage is using evade, and you have alert, not alergo, but uh, adiago. Yeah, that increases your damage by 15%. Combined with momentum here for another 30% damage increase. And you basically spam that and it refreshes forever and you don't need refreshing on all your gear. Because you can just evade, uh, do 3 light attacks, evade, 3 light attacks, evade, 3 light attacks over and over and over. And that is going to be way more damage than spamming flurry even if flurry has no cooldown. So, uh, you know what, let's just, uh, let's fight another tentacle, why not? <laughs> There's one. Wow, that hits so hard. That's not supposed to hit that hard. <laughs> at all. <laughs> oh, these things are just so destructive now. Okay, flurry up. Let's start smashing. Also, whenever you repost, you're uninterruptible, by the way. So that allows you to sit here and spam flurry without being knocked around. But because I don't have refreshing, I can't get these off cooldowns. And there we go. We did it, sort of. And, oh, the, the, the tentacle is down. It is in a crippled state. Attack. Yeah, um, you can do this to any elite mob, uh, preferably not like groups of elite mobs. Uh, brain dead easy mode, this will get you through Scorpius, you can get all the uh, elite chests by yourself. You can also smash through the, the door, there's like a door up here, um, somewhere, I forget. And uh, it takes so long to smash through it, but if you spam flurry on it, you'll have it down in just like a couple of minutes. Anyway guys, that's the build video, I hope this still works when the patch hits, that they don't overtune these elite zones because that would really suck that's all this build is actually used for it's not used for dungeons it's not used for pvp it's only used really to clear scorpius and it was used to clear parts of merc guard not the demon in the front of the door though you can see there, there i died um but <laughs> used to i could run in here de-aggro things by jumping on a ledge and then kill mobs and loot chests i can even loot a few elite chests in mines uh, and by the way, the patch, they're adding musketeers, so this build might have some use there as well. Uh, I didn't I didn't run and try it though. You can run and try it uh, if you ever if you have this gear set, if not, don't worry about it. It, it, it is kind of hard to gear for because you need specific perks. Uh, especially uh, where is it? You need Keen Tondo or the build doesn't work, and you need refreshing, as you can see, or the build does not work. Uh, Leeching Flurry, of course, too. Anyway, guys, I'm Soul Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole videos every single day i'm gonna drown myself because i got more videos to film on the ptr today and um i will see you in tomorrow's video so take care lads